Hello, I'm Tony Quebeman, Product Manager with Molex, covering the Woodhead Industrial Products. Here to talk to you today about GFCI, or Ground Circuit Fault Interruption, as it relates to the National Electric Code and OSHA. This is a very important element. It comes up frequently for questions in terms of the requirement for protection having to do with any time a power system is not part of the permanent structure of a building, a GFCI is required. That would be the major distinction that's made to qualify the use of a GFCI. The purpose of the GFCI is to keep your personnel safe, to provide ground fault protection and shut down the power should there be a ground fault. With this equipment, the equipment shuts off quickly. Uh, this equipment being, as an example, uh, GFCI similar to this uh, located in line on your power, uh, portable power source of extension cords and the like. And this equipment is, is needed for any circuitry that's in the 15, 20, or 30 amp category. As an alternative to the GFCI, there's a system available that is paperwork based and inspection based, having to do with the need to inspect the electrical cords that are used in your portable power system. These inspections need to be done on a regular basis, the results recorded, the repairs recorded, on a frequency of approximately every three months. With that system, if someone doesn't choose GFCIs and chooses to go with that paper-based system, these types of devices, a ground continuity monitor, can help reduce some of the long paperwork process involved in that documentation process. The ground continuity monitor simply monitors the ground path and lights up accordingly, telling you you've got a good source for ground and thereby properly protected for your power system. These devices, ground continuity monitors, and GFCIs are available at woodhead.com, and we appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.